Welcome, this is Carrie Shell from On Point Quilter. In this tutorial, I am using a quilt that was created by my friend Sherry Perry. And she designed a Jack's Chain quilt using Dear Jane blocks from an exchange. And so I will show you how you can do that using EQ8. I'm going to start with one of the Dear Jane projects that came with the latest Dear Jane program. So I will do open an existing project, locate DJ4 quilting center blocks. If you don't happen to own the Dear Jane software, select new project instead and select OK. Select file, save as, and let's label this DJ Jack's Chain and select Save. Close the project sketchbook and select Design a Block from Scratch. Select a new block, Pieced Polydraw Block. At the top, which is, has the precision toolbar, change the block width and height to 12 and have the graph paper turned off and Hide Show Autofill on closed patches should be turned on. Under Drawing Tools, go to Grid Properties and select the circle grid. Change both the rings and spokes to 6. Select the Polyline tool and select the third circle from the center. Select one of the spoke ring intersection and double click to start and you're going to see a big green dot. That's going to be the starting point and the finish point. Now we're going to follow that circle around to the next spoke and do a single click and we're going to continue to click on each spoke ring intersection using that same ring and all of them are going to be single clicks until we get back to the first one where we're going to use a double click to finish. Now we also need an equilateral triangle from this hexagon. So I'm going to start at that same intersection point, double click to start, do a single click at the next spoke, and now I'm going to do a single click at the center and double click back at that green, big green dot to finish. Now change the number of spokes to 12. Move the equilateral triangle outside of the hexagon and select a single rotate. Then move it so that that inner point matches one of the points of the hexagon. Then select Clone with two rotates because there's two more spokes until we get to the next point that we need and connect to the next one. And continue to clone and do two rotates until we have six equilateral triangles placed. Select Add to Project Sketchbook. If we focus on the top edge of the hexagon and comparing it to the ruler on the top, note that it is 3 inches. We will need to create a 3 inch square to fill that space. Select the rectangle tool, set the horizontal and vertical snap points at 12 so we will be able to snap every inch. So with the polyline tool, double click at 0, 0 to start, Go over 3 inches and single click. Go down 3 inches and single click. To the left 3 inches and double click to finish. For this to snap to a correct point, I need to switch back to the circle grid and then move the square into position. Select Clone followed by two rotates. Continue to clone and place the blocks around the hexagon. Make sure to use the Pick tool for additional clones and rotates. Select the Color tab and color the center white, the equilateral triangles with any color, and no color for the squares. And select Add to Project Sketchbook. Select the Draw tab and now delete two of the equilateral triangles and the square at the bottom. Select the color tab and recolor the equilateral triangles in a different color and select Add to Project Sketchbook. Now go back to Draw. With the Pick tool, select and delete 
a square and an equilateral triangle from both sides. Then go to Color and recolor the equilateral triangles and select Add to Sketchbook. Now select the Quilt Work Table and select a new quilt and select the style Custom Set. Select the Layout tab and set the size at 48 by 48. Select the Border tab and delete the border. Select the Design tab and select Set Block. Scroll and find the first hexagon block that we drafted and uh, the one with the equilateral triangles and the squares and drag it on the quilt. We are going to need to resize the blocks because if you remember those squares were three inches. If we want to use a Dear Jane block at the traditional size of four and a half inches it means we're going to need to resize the block. So to calculate the resize, I'm going to take my desired size of four and a half, divide it by three, and then I'm going to take it times my block size that I used for drafting, which was 12 inches. So I'm going to want my blocks in this quilt to all be 18 inches. With the Adjust tool, select that block and change it to 18. And then let's go ahead and just center that horizontally and vertically. Now select Set Block and select the second one. Drag it on the quilt. Select it with the Adjust tool. Change the size to 18 inches. Then we're going to move that on top of the center block. Under Quilt Grid Setup, we want to make sure this center option, which is Snap Block Position to Grid, is turned off. As a result, we will need to zoom in and move the block to eliminate any white space between those two blocks. Select Copy followed by Paste and change the rotation on the second block to 120 degrees and repeat the process of positioning it to the lower right of the center block. And do another paste and we're going to make the block rotation on that a minus 120 degrees. Position that on the lower left of the center block. Now with set block select the third block, select it with the adjust tool and change the size to 18 inches and for this one the first rotation is going to be 60 degrees and then do a copy paste and the next one will be 180 degrees and then uh, we can do another paste and make this one a minus 60 degrees. Zoom in on the center and make any adjustments to placements of the block to eliminate white space. Select Add to Project Sketchbook. Now I'm going to select Layer 2 and under Block Tools, Set Block, I'm going to find some Dear Jane blocks. And again, these wouldn't have to be Dear Jane, it could be any blocks from the library. Drag a block on Layer 2 and with the Adjust tool, confirm that the size is 4 and a half inches. Each block needs to be placed over one of the squares from the hexagons. Drag additional blocks on layer 2. Some of the blocks will need to be rotated either 60 degrees or 120 degrees. Continue to place blocks on the work table until all of the squares are colored and then zoom in and double check the placement of the squares. Once everything is placed I'm going to add fabrics. Select Fabric Tools, select Open Library, locate a fabric collection of your choice. I picked a collection of 30s prints. Once you find a collection, do a Select All Fabrics, Add to Sketchbook, and Close. Use the Fabric Tools and recolor the quilt. Note that you will need to color blocks on both Layer 2 and Layer 1. I did decide to add a gray backdrop 
behind this just so that it would pop a little bit more. And so once I'm done, I will select Add to Project Sketchbook. To receive regular free tutorials on using Electric Quilt 8, please subscribe to my weekly newsletter at www.onpointquilter.com.